It's the striped banner, I thought it all I could. Three hundred thousand Yankees is stiff. Southern dust. We got three hundred thousand before they conquered us. They died of southern fever and southern steel and shot. And I wish it was three million instead of what we got. I won't be reconstructed. I'm better now. Archie Peyton Samuel was an innocent boy. It's a sad day when murder is committed in the name of justice. This act tries the forbearance of good Christian men. 
we commend this child's body to the ground. His soul belongs to the Lord.
victory, it goes to the strongest. And only the strong will survive. Survival is the living the longest. But nobody gets out alive. The questions don't never get answered. And the rights, huh, they're remembered all wrong. The facts, they can get plenty confusing. So someday if uh, you happen to be singing this song, remember. It's just for the record. You can't change the handwork of faith. And tell them I live for the moment And I died when I tried to go straight I'll tell you about Jesse and Frank James. My grandfather was personally acquainted with them. My grandfather lived in the southern edge of Baxter County, Arkansas, and they stayed all night with him lots of nights. And my grandfather told me there was a lot of those robberies that was laid to Jesse and Frank James, and he knew they didn't do it because they was at his place when it happened. But you couldn't tell the public that. When they get their minds made up that somebody's done something, why, the public's gonna stick to it anyway. My grandfather, he knew them as boys. And they could come to his place and go without anybody paying attention because nobody expected them down in Arkansas, see, because they was from Missouri. Now that's the story that my grandfather told me when I was just a boy. And he said that Frank James at that World's Fair, I think it was 1901 in St. Louis, him and Frank were both there. My grandfather and Frank James were together there. And that Frank James offered to bring Jesse there alive. He said that the man that the Ford boys killed wasn't Jesse James at all. But the fellow they killed was just about the size of Jesse and he was redheaded and he wasn't any relation to the Fords. See, Jesse James was a known cousin to Charles and Bob Ford. That's what my grandfather said. He said Jesse and Frank were not even in that part of the country when that fellow was killed. And the Ford boys, why they collected a thousand dollars for killing Jesse James. Now, the song says that the Ford boys killed Jesse, but none of us up here in the mountains believe that. No, sir.
Jesse James, we understand, has killed a many men. He brought the Union trains, but history does record that Bob and Charlie Ford have laid Jesse James in his grave. It was on a Saturday night, the stars were shining. See you.